Hi, I'm Michelle, and this is Nalita, my guest, and you're about to watch a delicious, delicious video. video. Today we are, we have a baby shower, and so we're co-hosting that, and we are going to make a taco platter. Awesome. Yes. So, but we're, we're going to focus on um, our four things. We're going to do... Uh, white queso mm -hmm. and some tomatillo salsa and then what are you making? I'm making some homemade guacamole and some pico. Very simple and easy to do. The tomatillo salsa that we're about to make is um, from the peach tortilla cookbook. Um, it's super simple. Uh, it's a delicious recipe. Actually oh. you love it. Right? I love it. I love it. It's really tasty, tangy. It's just perfect. Yeah. Thank you. So um, it has uh, a pound of tomatillos, half uh, a yellow onion, um, two garlics, and um, one jalapeno, some olive oil, salt and pepper, and cilantro. I think that's it. I'm not sure, but yeah. We'll, yes, that's I'll, what it is. I'll refer back to the to the menu, but uh, we'll get going with that. So here in Austin, we have the peach tortilla. It is an amazing restaurant, which I actually absolutely love. And there is a cookbook um, that I randomly got at the Austin airport. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, Nalita's husband bought it for her yeah. for Christmas. Yeah, it's a great find and he it, has delicious recipes. It is. So Eric Sil Silverstein is the chef and he's, he's just done a great job. There's so many amazing recipes in here. To start off with the tomatillo salsa, you want to start with the tomatillo. So, what we do is you take a tom tomatillo and they actually have a husk on the outside of them. So you peel the husk mm -hmm. just like this. Oh, it looks very it's easy. Good. Yeah. And then you pull oh. the stem and you put it in this very handy bucket. And this is, makes it for a great cleanup. So it's my favorite new, new gadget in the kitchen. Next we add an onion and we'll just use half of it and then you want to uh, quarter it uh, and then throw it on the pan here and while I'm doing that Nalita would you show us how to uh, clean a jalapeno please? please I will do it and that's a white onion correct it no actually it's a yellow onion uh, good it's, to a sweet, know. it's a sweet onion because I like sweet onions okay good but you can use a white onion if you want to yes. change it a little bit yes okay. you can okay. So before we start cutting the jalapenos and cleaning it up, I always like to use gloves because it's very handy, easy, and then you just throw it away in the trash. So what we're gonna do is put this glove first. Any kind of glove work for this, so you don't have to have chef glove for it. And we're gonna grab the jalapeno, and then in addition to that, you're going to use a tool that you have in your kitchen, which is a very normal spoon. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna grab one jalapeno, okay? And we are going to just cut the tin off, just like this, very easy, and then you're gonna cut it in half. This is when your handy teaspoon comes in place. What you're going to do is just grab it and you are going just to pull like this, all the way out, and you can actually, it happens, you know? <laughs> And then we're using our handy weight in here. And so you don't have to touch anything and you can go in any direction and it's all clean. There you have one. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I really like to do this close to a back or something so you don't get all those seeds jumping around you. Because at times, you know, jalapenos can be very spicy and sometimes they cannot, you know. So jalapenos are really mild actually. And uh, once you do that, then do I need to cut this for you, Michelle? No, nope. we're just gonna put it right so there. So I just make right. sure that it's super clean. I'm referring, we just need one jalapeno. And then you need your... And then we need two garlic cloves mm -hmm. that we're gonna add in here. And then the final thing is I'm going to pour two tablespoons of vegetable oil over this. 
and I'm gonna get my hands. Actually, you've got gloves on. Yes, I'll will you do. Mas will you massage the oil? I will into massage. The vegetables? I will do that for you. Thank you. And then you know, it's good to do it like this so everybody gets a little bit. You see, this glove comes very handy at times because at the end of the day, all these uh, ingredients are gonna be blended. So it doesn't matter that I have just touched the jalapenos because it would not affect it. That's right. And then I'm gonna sprinkle uh, a teaspoon of uh, salt on top. And then we'll pop it into the oven. It is at 375. Mm -hmm. We'll do it for 35 minutes. And then we will, uh, we'll actually flip it halfway. So. Okay, okay. All right. And to the oven it goes. We're going to start prepping the pico de gallo, and the ingredients that you're going to need are tomatoes. What, what kind of tomatoes are those? I forgot the name. Roma. <laughs> Roma. <laughs> They're Roma. So we're gonna use some Roma tomatoes. As you can see, they're pretty big. So three will do for this recipe. One jalapeno chopped scallions that I have pre-washed and taken the steam and half of a um, purple onion or red onion. You're gonna need avocado oil, salt, pepper to stay in a fresh uh, lime juice. And that it is in fresh cilantro too. That's the last ingredient that we're gonna use. For the queso, we are going to use white American cheese, and uh, this is three quarters of a pound, mm -hmm. and then it's four ounces of mozzarella. There might be a little bit more mozzarella because who doesn't want more cheese? Uh, and then we also have uh, two tablespoons mm -hmm. of, uh, I'd use hatch green chilies, because I think they're tasty. Mm -hmm. um, we've got cumin, we have cornstarch to thicken, um, we also have some evaporated milk, which is what we're going to start with. Um, and then in the end, when it's all blended together, we will add in some ground beef. Next, we're going to brown the ground beef. Um, I did a pound of ground beef. And then we're also going to heat up 12 ounces of evaporated milk. And you want to do it on kind of low, medium heat. Put that in there. And so that's going to warm up. And then in the meantime, would you mind um, chopping up the cheese just so it's easier to melt? Okay, perfect. Thank so you. I'll start chopping. To season the ground beef, uh, I'm just using something super simple. Um, we need some salt. And I just do kind of a pinch of salt. And then I'll do a little bit of pepper. There you go. And some thank you. You're such a great sushi. I love cooking. Yes, you do. And you're a very good cook, too. Um, and then I'm going to do some garlic powder and do a little sprinkle of, of cumin. That will um, give it a nice okay. kick. Yeah. Right. Mm. Okay. And then we'll give that a stir. And this is almost done. Um, so once this is done, we'll drain it and set it aside um, until we get the cheese done. Perfect. So the, the, the cheese, the evaporated meal, have to get to a specific temperature before you put the cheese in. Is that correct? Right. So what you want to do, you want to make sure that the cheese is, you start putting in the white cheese mm -hmm. um, right before it gets to boiling, which is about right now. So, oh, oh, perfect. So there I'm going to add this in. Um, do you need this? And then you want to constantly whisk it. Okay. So I'm just going to do a straight over from Thank here you. just to help. Appreciate that. Once you did that. I'll splash it a little bit. All right. Almost there. All right. Got it all in. So from here, I can whisk this. And then while you're whisking, while I'm whisking, one of us are whisking. Yeah. Um, Will you, do you want to make, start your pico? Yeah, we can. All right. So, let me, Perfect. So you do have to constantly steer this. Yes. As you are adding one ingredient at a time. 
Correct. And can you stop the, like, can you just lower the heat if you have to drain the meat if you're doing both like what we're doing right yes, now? Yes, I would probably turn it off. Okay. And then come back to it. So, That's good to or know. very, very low. Okay. I'm putting in the cornstarch. Um, I should have done that first. <laughs> I forgot. But this is still super liquidy, so yeah, I think it, it would not matter. No, it'll help, so. Whoops, sometimes it happens. So what is the name of this tool? I really love it. I don't have it and I'm I'm like, a, I don't wanna, I really wanna keep whisky in this van. Yeah. In addition, what's it's, the name? So it's a whisk, oh. but it's just an open whisk. And the reason why I bought it is because um, I have the nonstick pans and pot, pots and pans. So it doesn't scratch And it? so it doesn't scratch the bottom. Oh. And I feel like it does better with cheese um, because it, like if you have a normal whisk, all the cheese gets in there. So tell me something because I'm kind of curious to know. Okay. Uh, um, I heard that you know some people is very funny about when you have cheese recipes that you have to kind of stir in one direction. And in what? My, and and I'm honestly, you know, this is kind of like you need to go in all corners with this, you yeah. know, so it doesn't stick. So I don't know. I I was like a. I watch some videos and people's kind of like, you need to go this direction, and I'm like, oh, okay. But so I've never heard that. I don't. I've never heard that. But that would be interesting to yeah, know what people think. Be good to know. If anyone knows, mm -hmm. you can put it in the comment section of our video after you subscribe and like the video as well. <laughs> Great to subscribe and like. This is yeah. so amazing. You can tell that I'm in love, and this is really easy. I'm like, hey, Helen. So while Michelle is whisking and continue to steer the cheese, I'm gonna start cutting all the ingredients for the pickle. Um, these tomatoes are so pretty. So we are just going to um, cut these tomatoes in half, clean them up, and then we're gonna just cut them in very small pieces. You can make your pickle as you like. That is not preference. Um, I particularly like it to be chopped very small. But if it's big or mixed side, that is not an issue as well. You can make pico whatever way you prefer or you wish. Is the, is the, uh, you can customize it is what I'm trying to say. So I am going to use um, another spoon because the spoons are very handy for me. And, um, <laughs> and you see all the seeds here. I mean, you can use your fingers if you like to, but honestly, it cleans it up. Look, you just go like this and look what happens. We're taking this out and voila it's so wow. clean That's, uh, easy easy and clean and i have pre-washed already all these ingredients so it's honestly save you time uh a lot of people uh you know like to use their knife and do it with their knife but look it's so easy to do and um remember tomatoes are full of water so this is one of those vegetables that is, look at all the, the juice that they have, it's amazing. And they're so pretty. As I continue to clean my tomatoes, remember we're doing pico. So if you're doing salsa, you want to keep all the juices and all the good and the goodies of the tomato. So you keep the inside of the tomato yes, in you do. For, yeah. for salsa, but not for pico de gallo. No, for pico, because okay. like I said, you have a lot of water. We're gonna be adding some uh, fresh lime juice, some oil, uh, salt, pepper. And when you add salt to vegetables, they release the natural juices as well. So it's definitely um, gonna bring some, uh, it's gonna add more water to it naturally, just because all the vegetables, once we put the salt. So I'm gonna wash my hands and rinse them really quick and then I'm gonna start chopping. So the, white American cheese is melted. And the next thing we want to add in um, is, would be, whoa, would be the mozzarella. Okay, I got that for Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. All wild. right. That is so easy. Yeah. Honestly. So it's great. So we just melt this, and then after that, we'll add the rest of our ingredients. Our cheese is melted and blended and it looks absolutely ooey gooey delicious it looks super delicious oh my goodness yeah. that's amazing that tool works wonders it it's does. amazing yes. so what would you do if it's too thick 
Can so, you add anything to, you know, thin it out? Or? Absolutely. Um, you can. You could add more evaporated milk. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't have any more of that, you could do some cream, milk, something like that to do that. But I wouldn't do it just yet because when you add in the hatch chili peppers, mm -hmm. um, it actually has a little bit of liquid in there. The water. So, yeah, so it'll make it a little bit. Look at how gooey Ooh, that it is. It is gooey. Mm -hmm. I might have to add some. I don't know. Add some cream. And then we're also going to add in a tablespoon of chili powder. And this is half a teaspoon of nutmeg. So a lot of people I love don't nutmeg. really like nutmeg. I love it. So I do add it in. You can actually delete it out if you don't want to. And then for a little bit of kick, we're going to do it's half a teaspoon of um, red pepper. Red pepper. Yep. The flakes. Yep. And then we're going to do a little bit of salt. Do you need some pepper? and some pepper. Okay, there you go. So this Thank is the taste, you. right? And this then you can kind taste. of... Awesome. Yeah. So we have all of this together. And now I'm going to just mix it up really well. Switched <gasps> over to spatula because it's easier. Oh, wow. That looks and amazing. A little bit of color. I cannot wait to taste it. This is almost done. This is Nalita Senior, Abuela. Um, Junior? Yeah. So let's see how it tastes, Mom. Let's give it a try. Yeah. Go let's for see. it. Try it and see. Like this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get a whole bunch in there. Yeah. It looks so yummy. It's going to be super messy when we eat it. It's okay. It's, it's, it's queso. Mm -hmm. Queso is like that. Está bueno? Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mmm. Mmm. This is good. Mm -hmm. It's very cheesy. You can mm -hmm. taste a little bit of heat and you also have the hatch chili peppers you can taste too. Mm. And a little bit of nutmeg. Yeah, I like the nutmeg. The nutmeg okay. really give it such a nice kick. It's just very very unexpected. What do you think? It's very good. You like it? Anyway, yes. Mm -hmm. Everybody will enjoy this. Meal. So you don't have to add meat. If you can change it, you can do like a grilled shrimp as you want to. Anything. Steak. It's like, you can ooh. do anything. You can also put. Um, you could put some tomatoes, some avocados, oh. some cilantro on top. There's a whole bunch of different stuff you can do. Um, we're just making it simple because we're yes, all going to. Yes, we're be doing our board. Remember, yeah. this is for our board. Um, right. Taco board. So. <laughs> We so we finished chopping the tomatoes uh, for the pico and now what we're going to do is chop the scallions. The scallions are super, super easy flavored and I love to use them, especially on the pico. Would you help me cut this? Yes. Please? I have pre-washed them, all of them. We are going to cut the end that we're not okay. going to use and I have, um, and then just very small. Okay. And in the meantime, the Michelle is chopping, uh, cutting the like scallions. That? Yeah, so we're taking. Uh, what do you mean? Do you want Do you want some of the white or do you want? Oh no, I want all. Okay, good. All in very very small. Very small. So I'm going to start with a red onion. Okay, I'm interested to see how you chop a red onion because Amy Ann and I had a chop off in competition. A competition. Yeah, That's she does a little bit different than I do, so I'm curious to see how you do it. Show okay, us. well, so it depends. Um, if you, I'm just gonna cut the part that I'm gonna use for the recipe, uh, but you can use it also from the whole. So it depends okay. how you wanna do it. And so what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to cut. Wow, look at the color, so pretty, I love it. Look at that, it's amazing. So we're gonna clean this off because I like my board to be very, very clean. And so what we're gonna do, if you see this, this is kind of the root of the onion, and then we're gonna peel it a little bit like that. And we're gonna take, this. look at the beautiful color. So this is, a, this is a trick for a lot of people. I wanna show you, we're gonna cut this in here, okay? 
And it looks like a flower, if you will, if you're looking at it. Yeah? It but, does. <laughs> so, a lot of people doesn't like to take the onions, and especially the red onions are, you know, very uh, strong, red. strong uh, and colorful. Yeah. So, you can keep this here if you want to hold it, or you can take it out of there. So, it's yeah. up to you. I don't mind, so I'm taking mine out. And the way I will do this is I will square it like this, uh -huh. and then I will go like this, and then I will chop it, and it will be completely chopped in no time. See, Amy Ann, she does it like I do. Some of it didn't cut all the way Next, uh, I'm going to chop the jalapeno. In the meantime, Michelle is going to help me squeeze uh, the juice of this lime that we have here. We're going to start with two, and then we're going to taste and see if we uh, if it's all good. If we want to add a little bit more of citrus, we add one more. But I always like to start with two because it's to your taste. So, okay. Would you? What is this? <laughs> so this is a lime citrus lemon lime squeezer. It's awesome, it's super easy to use. It's uh, from Chefin, mm -hmm. um, and let me just show you, because it's really, really awesome. So we cut them in half, you put them in that way, not the other way, and then you just squeeze. Doesn't look like a, you're making, like a, you're not using a lot of strength no, though. No, I'm no strength at all. Really? It's really easy. Oh, wow. There we go. So that's one line, but you wanna do another one? Yes, please. Okay, do one more. Oh, look at those limes. They are phenomenal. They're Ooh. very juicy. Super. So next I'm going to uh, chop the uh, jalapenos. And as I told you before, I love using my glove because they are super handy, easy, and when you're done, you don't have any itching, no burning sensation. And if you forget for whatever reason and you put your hand and your lips on your eyes is going to hurt a little bit. And so what we're gonna do is you remember, if not, uh, from the tomatillo sauce, we I showed you how to cut it, but we're gonna do it again. We're gonna cut this in half, and then we're gonna use a, a spoon, and then we're gonna, we're going to clean it. And we're gonna take all the seeds out, because this is really, really important. You don't want any seed because this is going to the pico. And this is mm -hmm. something where the people is going to be eating. If you leave this, the seeds in, it's going to add a lot of heat. So now what we're going to do is that I am going to cut it really, really, really small because you want very, very small pieces here. Uh, so it doesn't, you know, if this jalapeno is a little spicy, it would just have, add a tiny, 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 tiny. Uh, eat. Also, you can always take the vein of the jalapeno, this part here, mm -hmm. and you can take it. I took most of it with the spoon, that's why I like to use the spoon, but you can do it like this, or you can do it um, like this. I kind of cut it, most of it, so yeah, yeah it's pretty clean. That's yeah. definitely, we do that with um, all of our bell peppers. Mm -hmm. So will this be, is this the last part of the pico? Uh, and we need some fresh cilantro. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, and so as you can see, it's really, really tiny. You don't have to use it all. Um, we have enough there that this will get, the jalapeno will not be the primary um, uh, element on the pico. It will be the tomato. 
that's why I use extra tomatoes there. Um, I also like to kind of go around and make sure if I left anything that I didn't cut correctly, you know, go back and make sure that everything is really, really sharp because you don't want anybody to go and have a big chunk of jalapeno if they don't like mm -hmm. the spice. Absolutely. So this will make it a nice touch. And as you can see, it's really, really, really tiny. Very, very tiny pieces like you can see here. And so what we're gonna do, give it a rough chop again here on top just to make sure that I'm not letting any piece, big piece in here. If I'm looking one, I'm, and I think this will be sufficient. So we are gonna transfer this, all this goodie to the bowl. Look at that pretty colors, they're amazing. It looks beautiful. And I am going to wash the bore and the knife and take my gloss off so we can do the cilantro and add the olive oil, salt, pepper, and then taste it. Okay, okay. Perfect. Perfect. What's the final touch? Cilantro. Okay. Don't you have a special way of cutting cilantro? I do, I do. And when you have cilantro, you wanna put your cilantro in some water. You know, so it stayed alive. You can put it on, the, and it could, you can put it on the fridge, and it will stay really, really good. So, what I try to do, there are a couple of ways that you can do this. You can spend time and peel one at a time, and then chop them. Amy, I'm gonna be super proud of that because that's how she does it. Or you can roughly just take the knife, and you're going to kind of shape it like this. Ah. Very See? cool. And yeah. so you just go around and it's kind of the same, you know, I mean, you can go and do it, but we don't need that much. This will be sufficient. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to put this here and it's kind of messy when you do it, but if you can still, if you don't want this many stamp, I do like the stamp in there. I, I think too. they add some good flavor. So we're going to try to do it like you're doing Julienne. And so you can just grab it all together like this and then you can do it like this as you want to. You can keep it like this. There are many, many ways. There is not a right way to do it. But the reason I like to put it together is because it's easier. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I love cilantro. Yeah. And then you just chop it. And it just chops so pretty and it adds so much color. You know, people uh, sometimes is afraid about cilantro because of the smell, but it tastes so, so uh, mild, I think. Um, I love it. I don't like to chop it too much because uh, the leaf can turn a little bit brown uh, to dark when you try to chop it too much. It can kind of smoosh a little yeah. bit. So what you do is that you just put it all here. Look at how pretty. And so we have the reds, the purple, you know, the, the green and white from the yeah. scallions, the jalapenos. You like uh, to just start missing it Absolutely. Up with... I'd love to do that. Yeah. And we've got some of the lime juice in here already. Yes. Too. And is there anything else that you put in here? We're going to do some salt. Oh, oh yeah. That'd be helpful. And then some pepper and some avocado oil. Yeah. So yeah. oil helps the ingredients to keep, you know, together. And it, you, don't, you don't need to do a lot. It's just like a little sliver of, you know, um, drizzling on it and then I I do this kind of generously and then I try and taste and try it and taste until I find it you know like a this to my taste or it gonna be I do not add a lot of pepper because you already have the jalapeno mm -hmm. so just a little bit goes a long way and then just a tiny drizzle of the avocado oil and let's just mix it again okay. all right and you see the juices that I was talking yeah. earlier, the tomatoes, once you add the lime and you add the, the salt, you can see some of the juices on the bottom. But look how pretty this is. Beautiful. I'm making a mess, but it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I love it. I think it's so easy to make pico on your own. And like I said, this is a Venezuelan style pico. <laughs> it's not a Mexican. We'll have Veronica to do the Mexican That's one. That's right. We will. We yeah. will. Okay. Do okay. we get to taste it now? Um, yes. Okay. Yeah, let's do Perfect. that. Okay. So here's some chips. Thank you. And, um, we need Elena. 
Abuela, abuela. <laughs> so we need the approval of my mom because, you know, I learned all these recipes from her and my grandmas. And so, like I said, this is the way we do it in Venezuela. Uh, wow, mama. <laughs> what do you think? Needs a little bit more of salt, a little bit more of lime juice. What do you think? It's do you good. think it's good or it needs a little bit more of salt? She's got too much food in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty, right? The color oh, is good. It's good. Is it good or very yeah. good? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> yep. awesome. Do you think we need more salt? No. No? no okay. I think the, the lemon is, you know. In the salt mm -hmm. is good too? Try okay, some. let's try. Let's try it. I'm gonna mm -hmm. do a little bit. Let's see. I'm just gonna get a little bit. Mmm. That's so, delicious. And the salt's just right. Perfect. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. That's really good. Mmm. 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 Mm. Thank you. This lime juice and the salt. And it's not spicy, you see? It's not spicy at all. No. That's why I like to use a lot yeah. of tomatoes because the tomatoes compensate the heat of the jalapeno. And if you don't want to use jalapeno, you don't have to, but you, it's your choice what kind of uh, hot pepper you want to use, if you want to more spice it or not. Remember always to take the six out, and that is it. This is ready for our board. Thank you. The final step of getting all the tomatillo salsa together is putting it in a food processor. So these are all the roasted vegetables. Look at the juices. It's oh very my juicy. gosh. You get everything. Yes. And then... Um, Do you use the juices as well? No. It's so good. Yeah. Because it's good. Um, and then the other thing we need is half a cup of cilantro. Okay. Half there. So I have take a chinese the leaf, so I have take all the stems out. I roughly just chop it, and now we just wanna put it together and just chop really quick. And then while she's doing that, I'm gonna add in a half a teaspoon of cumin. And then we need three fourths of a teaspoon of salt, which I wanna measure this out. Um, this is half a teaspoon I'm using. Too much. You let me know if you're ready. You're ready. Go ahead. Okay. Look at how pretty this is, huh? Mm -hmm. I love doing this. <laughs> and right. you want to get everything? So Perfect. There you go. All right. And then the last part. Let's put this lid on, and we will pulse it. Ooh. Let's see. You good? Do you want to roughly chop, or do you want to really blend? It's up to you. I think it's better roughly chopped. Did I just spill that everywhere? Yeah. Would you um, like I'm gonna do a little bit more. Okay. I do have a trick. Oh, you do? Tell you, me your trick. You wanna put that back in? Yeah. yeah. So, I'm gonna show you something that okay. I learned. You put your finger underneath here, and that holds the blade, so then you can actually pour directly. And it ah, does brilliant. So. Mmm. Very good. Mmm. Mmm. Good. Mm. It's so good. It's delicious. It's just, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Like delicious video. That's right. Subscribe and like, please. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. This is so good. It's so easy. Super easy. Well, because you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I love the idea that you put this in the oven and you can do something different in the mm -hmm. meantime. So you don't have to literally just sit and watch everything. Just. Watch, drizzle, cut, put it in the oven, and okay. do something else. That's amazing. Yeah. Not a lot of really good. It's Sorry. Very easy. I'm trying. Not a lot of chopping. And mm. Yeah. Easy to do. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. so good. Okay, next up is uh, guacamole. guacamole. So we're going to start preparing the guacamole. Uh, while I am chopping the jalapeno, Michelle is going to do half of an onion finely chopped, very, very fine. 
and we're gonna last we're gonna do the um, avocado so we're gonna start chopping and cleaning everything that was a lot so just half right yes half is sufficient okay. while I'm clean this all stuff out of the jalapeno I'm making sure that this is very finely chopped to ensure that nobody gets a I probably could have probably could have just put it in the food Nipple. processor and made it a lot quicker because a whole bunch just fell on the floor. I mean, you could, <laughs> but you know what is the beauty about you chopping it? Uh, you do want to have a little bit of chunk. Yes. And so if you don't like any onion or you don't like the chunk, but you like the onion flavor, you definitely can put it on the food processor and you can make it as, as mushy as you want to. You know, a lot yeah. of people don't like to bite into an onion, but they like but like the flavor of it so so what we're gonna do is just start putting stuff on the bowl as we okay. chop them out so i'm gonna move on watch my hands clean the board and move on to the cilantro almost done i'm using a different type of knife so if you're using a chef knife eight or seven eight nine or ten will be a little bit easier mm -hmm. but it's going to the bowl so this is a little bit messy, but it smells so good. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna open the avocados. I like to do the avocados last because um, they can oxidize. So you want to use the lime juice right away. Uh, so what we're gonna do, and this is how we do it in Venezuela, by the way, but a lot of people do it a different way. You just run your knife like this and you're gonna twist it like this and voila beautiful then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take slightly be very careful when you do this you just twist it and it comes out you're going to reserve the seeds because we're going to use them once we finish doing the guacamole the seed is going to go inside of the guacamole to help it preserve um, the color and not to oxidize yeah. I mean you can use so it doesn't brown. you can exactly you can use a towel to do this or you can use your hands I will be very careful <laughs> but I can do it I'm That's used to I do it yeah. yeah so um, so let's do this really quick look just how pretty good, good avocados look when you are trying to pick an avocado, it's important that you look the color, that you make sure that this is not green. If this is green, this haven't ripe yet. Yep. And so especially when you go to the stores, I buy mine when they are not ripe because I like them to, I use a lot of avocados. <laughs> how do you, how do you um, ripen your avocados? So there are a couple different ways. If I need them really, really, really fast, I'm putting either a wrap it in newspaper and I put it inside a dark place. Or I can, if I don't need them so, so fast, I can put it inside the pantry, which is really dark. You don't have to wrap them in a newspaper and they will ripe in a day or two. So it depends, it is. So. Your favorite spoon. <laughs> you wanna use a spoon. This is the easiest way to get an avocado out. Look at how pretty is this avocado. This is ready, the skin is coming really out of it so you don't look as soon as you do this look what's going to happen you have a very pretty and remember um you can do your guacamole really mushy if you want to you can leave some chunks if you want to so this doesn't have to be super pretty no, okay. now that we have all the avocados out we're going to give it just a very roughly chop and you can go like this and then go and just put it inside mm. there. And so, yeah. like I said, this is this this one can didn't come out really pretty, but the idea here is just to break it out. So if you want to leave some chunks of avocado, you can. Next, we're going to use this wonderful tool. Let me show. It's gonna smash it, and you're gonna smash it. Okay. Yeah. And that's the fun part. Yeah. You can make it as, uh, you can smash it as much as you want. If you want to leave some chunks on it, you can do it. It's, uh, it's to your taste, remember. You can make everything to your taste, so it's not a wrong or right way to do it. And so, um, yeah. Then what happened? Yes, and your son. kids can help you with it, okay? Yeah. 
I would do a little bit more. A little bit more? Yeah, and okay. it, because we have good chunks and, yep. and perfect. And we're mix it. Okay. okay. So now you can use the same thing that we use for it. And then we're going to make sure that we mix this well. And if you please add, uh, we have about four tablespoons of uh, lime juice, which is about a whole, uh, probably one or two limes, okay? Yeah. And so, if you want to... You want all of it? Uh, or just a little bit? Let me see. Wow. Yeah, just put it all of it, actually. All of it? Okay. Yes. Good. And then, let's, do we put oil, oil in it? Yes, we do. Okay. Oil is a very, surprisingly for a lot of people, I put a little bit of a... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was too much. It's okay. It's not, like I said, this is not... But oil help uh, to... Uh, preserve is another agent besides yeah. the uh, lime juice and the seeds of the avocado oh, that's that good. it helps to so now we're gonna do the salt and the pepper okay. I uh, like I did before this is generously pepper is just a little bit mm -hmm. so if you could do uh, I made a mess. it's okay so that's good and we will mix this and it's a super easy recipe. It is. It's super easy. Like I said, that is not a. If you like, it seems more match. You can put it on the blender. If you don't, you know, to just match it more the avocado. And I think we're ready to go. So let's awesome. give it a try. All right. Abuela is back to taste the guacamole. So I hope that we did good, right, Mom? Yeah. Would you try to tell us how it is? <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me try it. Okay, let's try it then. Go for it. It's really bright green. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Um, and it's amazing because when you put the seeds, it will remain that color. You yeah. could, it's, it's important that you keep it in the refrigerator and when it's ready, you will serve it. What do you think? Very good. Very good? Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Very, very bueno. Good. Muy bueno. Mm -hmm. mm. Muy bueno. Mm -hmm. Muy bueno. We have finally completed our taco board. So uh, what we've got here obviously are the it's a tomatillo salsa mm -hmm. and your beautiful colorful pico. Colorful, colorful pico. I like it. Yeah. Um, and then also your amazing guacamole mm -hmm. um, in the very ooey gooey <laughs> queso. Which is um, super delicious. It is very yummy. We also added some of the hash, uh, green chili pepper that we use from the uh, queso. So you can add it as a garnish and, and also crema and some cotija, cotija cheese. And then we added some protein. Yeah, so uh, ground beef that we used in the queso. Mm -hmm. And some shrimp. Shrimp, in case someone wants a shrimp. And taco. some grilled chicken, grilled chicken. and uh, some uh, butter lettuce. Uh, butter lettuce and then um, some buttered tortillas, because those are delicious. And then oh, just they're melt, flour. and yeah. they were just made yeah. um, at the store. You can add any any type of chips that you like, mm -hmm. that you prefer. Uh, for the party, we probably would put bigger bowls, so those ladies can enjoy. But if you want something just for a dinner, this is actually delicious, easy to do, and it will not take you more than half hour or 45 minutes. Probably 45 minutes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> if you're uh, doing it just yourself. That's right. That's yeah, but right. if you're cooking with your friends, it's yeah, fast. It's fast. Yeah. So thank you so much. I hope everyone uh, enjoys these recipes and please like and subscribe to the channel. Delicious yeah. video. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Hi, I'm Michelle, and this is my guest, Nalita, and you're about to watch a delicious, delicious video. <laughs> I don't know. Is okay. it a video or videos? Video. Okay, I thought it was plural, so delicious video. Okay. Video. Okay, yeah. I'm good. Okay, here we go again. Take two. Hi, I'm Michelle, and this is my I'm guest, Nalita. Oh. Okay. It's really hard with all this stuff. <laughs> okay. All right. Hi, I'm Michelle, and this is Nalita. <laughs> We haven't drank anything yet. Yeah, this, we're totally sober. Okay. It's from last night. All right. Anyway. Here we go. 
So, where we're going to go, um, blah, 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 sorry. <laughs> Putting a little bit of seasoning in the okay. ground and beef. I, and I pass the stuff for you. There you go. Yeah. Ready? So I'm going to, oh, already he's already doing. doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we finish uh, cutting the tomatoes for the pickle. Sorry. The dog is finding her toy. Squeaky <laughs> toy. Uh-oh. <laughs> so we finished uh, cutting what? the tomato. Okay. Boop, boop. There's our blooper. There you go. <laughs> so we finish uh, chopping the uh... <laughs> Atsuka. Atsuka. Stop, girl. <laughs> okay. Here we go. <laughs> There's no slicing in that. I can't. That's exactly why I don't do that. <laughs>